Hey everybody, this is Colin from ECS Tuning and today I'm going to show you how to install the R32 pedal set in our Mark VI GTI. Included in this R32 pedal set, you're going to get a new accelerator pedal, a new brake and clutch pedal, and a new dead pedal. For this installation, you're going to need a T25 and a T30 Torx driver, a small and a flathead screwdriver. To start our installation, we're going to have to remove the two flathead plastic nuts that hold on the backing plate on the accelerator pedal. Next, take this cover off with your flathead screwdriver to expose the T30 bolt holding on the accelerator pedal. With your pedal loosened up, you can go ahead and take your big flathead screwdriver and pry from the bottom to lift it out. With it loosened up, take that flathead and release the clip holding in the connector. Now with your new pedal in hand, it's time to reinstall the connector. Now push down the plastic connectors onto the metal studs to lock it back into the floor. Take your T30 bolt and reinstall it. And finally, put the bolt cap back on. Now with your new pedal installed, it's a good idea to turn your car on to make sure everything's working properly. If everything checks out, go ahead and put on your backing plate and keep moving on to the next pedal. Go ahead and take your backing plate and put it back on the screws and reinstall your plastic nuts. Your brake and clutch pedal only go on one way. The two pedals have a different tab design. This is your clutch pedal and this is your brake pedal. On the back of your brake pedal, you have one main tab that pushes into the brake pedal itself. So to remove your stock pedal, just take a wide flathead screwdriver and pry. It should pop right off. And your new one, start at the bottom and pull up and push in. The clutch pedal is exactly the same as the brake pedal.
before we install this dead pedal, let's take a look on how it's made. Notice all the brackets and mounting points on the new pedal. We have two behind it, and one on the side with a screw. Now the screw is mounted behind the plastic, so that's a good place to start. We're going to take this panel off to access that bolt. This plastic right here can just be pulled up very easily. You don't have to remove it, you just need a little bit of room to get this plastic out. The key to getting this panel off is holding the hood latch back so you can wiggle the plastic around. With that off, it exposes our T25 screw holding in the dead pedal. Now push the pedal up, and it'll pop right off. Included in your pedal kit, you're going to get an adapter to mount your new dead pedal. It includes the bracket and a new T25 screw. Your new bracket bolts into the stock position, and when you install your new dead pedal, the mounting hole will line up right behind it. Now it's time to reinstall your kick panel. With your dead pedal installed, make sure all your stock plastics are put back together and that'll complete the installation. I'm Colin and I'll see you next time.